city leaders say even if you don't use the ride-sharing services, you could benefit. NBC5's Nikki Torres is live with tonight's top story at 6. Nikki? Kristen, the app went live in Medford at exactly 10 this morning, and from here on out, people in the city just need one push of a button to get a ride. Finding a ride. Four months ago, uh, Uber came to Medford and and said, hey, we're, we're looking into coming to Southern Oregon. It took months of city council meetings, study sessions, and public input. Eventually, the city decided that, yes, we want Uber and Lyft and any other transportation network company to be allowed to uh, operate in Medford. Fast forward to December 1st, and both Uber and Lyft have officially launched in the city of Medford. The response has been fantastic. Uber's public affairs manager, John Isaacs, says Uber already has more than 100 active drivers. I actually went on the website a couple months ago when I heard the rumors. But when he went on Uber's website to apply, it said the service wasn't available in his city. I think when the city council approved it, I actually got a text message or an email that says that uh, they're coming into town and that I should finish my application. Now he's giving a ceremonial first Uber ride with some of the public officials that made it all possible. We're on our first ride and we're uh, taking a trip over to City Hall and then we'll make our way back. The uh, excitement for people who want to um, you know, take advantage of the opportunity to earn extra money, giving other people rides. And it's not just the drivers showing a good turnout. Uber reports Southern Oregon has more than 5,000 active riders. I took an Uber here. Uh, it took four minutes for the guy to, to pick me up. Uber passenger Michelle Atkinson was one of the first riders when the company launched service Friday morning. I was his first ride, <laughs> so he had never done Uber before, and he's kind of trying to figure out how it worked. Though it was a learning experience, she says she recommends it. We were both kind of figuring out how Uber worked at the same time. And she'll even be using it for date nights with her husband. Are you going to Uber home? I have to because I Ubered here. <laughs> If you don't have the Uber account yet, all you need is a smartphone and a credit card. From there, all you need to do is go to the App Store and get the, either the Uber app or the Lyft app. But Uber says if you're having problems accessing or it says that the service isn't available in your area on your Uber app, all you have to do is update your phone software and that should take care of the issue. Live in Medford tonight, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News. Thank you, Nikki.